All right, listen up, because I'm only going to say this once. But I just have not been feeling like drawing people lately, and I don't know what it is. It must just be side effects of 2020 still carrying over. I don't even know who I am anymore. <laughs> but anyway, what I thought we could do is jump back into this sketchbook's mascot, if you remember. Bum, 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 which I don't think I've actually declared her name in video format. I went back and like added it to the, like the descriptions of her previous videos and answered a couple comments. But like, that's not convenient for everyone. So here's her grand reveal. Her name is... Mm, 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 mm. Everest. Eh? What do you think? I had a few that I was like going back and forth with, but for some reason like Everest was the one that I could always remember and pick out of my head. So I figured, why am I still trying to find another name? And that's clearly her name. So what I thought we could do is draw her and then maybe go into learning a little bit more about her, figure out maybe personality. Is the outfit the best that it could be? I don't know, do I want to draw a house? Do I want to see what her autograph would look like? You know, the basics of an original character. So I guess sketchbook's already open, so let's get right into it. This is nice and sharp. I'm using a rose colored cola race pencil. It's gonna make sure it's nice and sharp. Start the day off right. So last time I drew her was kind of a lot earlier in the sketchbook, but yeah, that's what she looks like. That's what her outfit looks like as of November. So I would like to redraw her kind of from memory, see if I can like simplify any shapes and then see if I'm inspired or adjust anything along the way. So we're gonna start with just a nice full colored version of Everest. I will just do a nice standing there pose for now too. Has a big poofer vest, use big shapes for that. And a collar, her ski mask. You won't actually see her smile, but we'll draw it in for now. Goggles, do a nice flowy ponytail so you can see it. One arm will coming out there, the other one's over there. So the part that I'm like the most reluctant to keep is the like cut off shorts, you know? Cause she's a winter themed character and it's just, like it's cool like to draw, but I just don't feel like it's the right cool for this character. You know what I mean? I like drawing her boots because they're basically just rectangles. <laughs> I really hope you can see that. I'm kind of drawing lightly here just to iron out the shape. I gave her a little bit thicker legs this time. Actually, maybe just thicker calves. Maybe she's a little bit more bundled up. She had like a design on this, I believe. So yeah, this is the part I don't I'm not sure about jaggedy shorts. I feel like it just doesn't fit the rest of the design. Mostly because it's got like triangles and everything else feels very soft and round. So that's what I would like to just give it one last approval or disapproval. <laughs> and really make sure that I, I gave it a chance. I also want to give it a chance to be better. Have her like grab her collar. Does she have like a turtleneck? Oh wait, it would be the ski neck mask kind of coming down. Yeah, see, I really liked the pose and everything, but now with the outfit on, I'm feeling less attached to it, which might mean I just need to play around with the outfit. I don't know why I'm still trying to convince myself. I obviously want to change it. <laughs> Add in the poofs. Oh, she also had socks and the tights and everything. Yeah, I'm not happy about this section. Anyway, I think she's a little lopsided, but I really like it, so I'm not changing it. Let's add in some line art. More poofy. I do like drawing that bubbly shape, which again is one of the reasons I'm not so sure about the shorts. So that's like going into the pocket. And this sock, it's all folded. I also kind of want to revisit these boots. They're a little lacking. Okay, so now the next step, erase some of the pencil and add in the colors. Now I believe I had specific colors picked out, but I don't remember what they were. <laughs> did I like write it down? Oh, I did! Let's add these in where all the red was, because we're not changing anything right now. Just recreating. Kind of just creating this as like a, what's that called in science? You're doing tests. <laughs> the thing that you have so that you can compare it to see if you've improved or see the changes. And the mask is garnet as well. Oh, and the gloves. Is that all the red? There's a little red on the tights, but we're not there yet. Y11 and then B21. So we have these yellows. Fake the gradient here. I mean, I guess it's not fake. <laughs> I just meant not using those colors. And some stars. I don't know why I did this. This looks so tacky to me now. Oh, what, just a couple months will do. Yellow hair, the yellow orange. Oh, and then the blue goes basically all the rest, except there are some white spots, so it's not everything. So I take that back. With the blue, it really makes a difference. I see why I kind of just called this done. Probably because I just didn't care anymore. <laughs> so that's kind of what we're working with. Then there's like gray for the tights. I feel like it was another thing that I wasn't really 100% on when I walked away from it. I need like a skin 
It'd be so funny to draw without her mask and she's got like a little tan line. Why does that look so gray? I'll take it for now, fine, whatever. Yeah, so that's what we're working with and that's what I want to adjust. Maybe to just change things up a little bit, I could kind of like see how she would write her name. I'll grab one of these markers, maybe the chill side. Definitely a capital, actually, a lowercase e. Let me see. Ev. Yeah, no, let's go to a pencil so I can erase. I see like the V as like an upside down mountain. So what if we just wrote it with an upside down V? So it's like a mountain. Problem is it looks like an A. <laughs> we can change the way you spell her name and put an A in there. Evares. No, oh, no, no, no. It's a V and an A next to each other. And if I'm going to try and create like a mountain with this, then it kind of just goes choo 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 choo. There's some way to make the V just look more like a mountain. Then we use the E the base of the mountain. I keep seeing the word Vera in there, even though it's not spelt right. Vera. I kind of like the idea of using a lowercase e at the beginning though, just because it like rounds off a lot of the shapes except for the V. But then that kind of like fits her because she's like rounded except for the shorts. Got an E, and you have the V, but then it comes way up and creates a mountain over these letters. If it like goes further, now it's like, <laughs> it's hitting logo territory, which writes their name as a logo. Go someplace else. That way we have more space for like drawing her. I think it's too ugly. <laughs> it's too logo-y. Maybe if I like write it faster, like you're scribbling your name and then add. Okay, wait, wait, wait. T and cross. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm writing the name really, really fast, and then to cross the T, I create the mountain shape. Like, I'm trying to think of it like if someone was actually writing this. Like, they're not gonna take time to like make sure it lines up exactly the way it's supposed to. If I write the name like that, so then we get to the T, we create that section, and then I just create like the little mountain that goes over it. it. Makes me wonder if I should capitalize the E though. I'm also like slurring the V and the E together. Let me try not doing that. That's like something I always do. So let me go mountain. Does look a little bit like a chimney on a house, but I kind of like it. Oh, I was gonna try it with capital E. That space right here. <laughs> when I write it without the capital, I feel like it doesn't look like a name. We'll keep working on that. Maybe we'll come back after I've like filled this with drawings and there's extra space. We can like play around with the name. But I was thinking if she lived in a house, she'd probably live in one of those like cabins that's like a triangle shape. It goes straight to the ground, something like this. And then there's like the doors with like a cool window or maybe beams. <laughs> but you know, like a cabin-y sort of look. Maybe some kind of cool northern looking doors. <laughs> and then there'd be snow all over it, even up here. That's what I imagine she lives in. And maybe she skis? I don't know, does she have a hobby? I feel like it's important for people to have hobbies. So I draw a character that just exists when they can live. Ooh, what if it has like a little thingy? <laughs> <gasps> what are these called? I don't know. It like protrudes from the house. More snow on top. Maybe add some liner to make it a little bit more obvious. Also, <laughs> is it too obvious that I just don't feel like drawing people right now? What is wrong with me? Who am I? Roof with some trim. I feel like it definitely needs some kind of window. Oh, we need a little welcome mat. There. What if the whole top's just window? So I mean like there's walls here that's not really window. Then like is this window too? Yeah, we'll make that wood. Wood paneling. But then I feel like this needs to be a different kind of window. What if it's like glass windows? Problem is I did like a classic cottage window over there and then I did like super modern looking window here with modern looking doors. Oh well. Anyway, something that looks kind of like that. Cool little cabin, tons of snow, that sort of thing. We had snow falling. All right, we got a little space here. It's a little awkward for drawing characters, but what I wanted to do is now finally getting into the point of the video. I want to tackle maybe changing the outfit and like some things I thought is maybe she could wear something more similar to like snowsuit onesie sort of shape. So I just want to try it out. I should mention my favorite parts. I love ski mask, love the gloves. Everything else. Well, I like the poofiness of the jacket, the vest, but it doesn't have to be the vest. So those are like my three main important elements. So we're going to keep those. And I'm going to draw a little smaller here because we're focusing on silhouette and the shapes. So add a circle. So if we're going to do like a onesie situation, I feel like you'd use like a square and then maybe a belt to kind of like cinch it in. And then you have the rest of the onesie <laughs> coming out. So it's very square looking. It looks like some kind of robot or spaceman. Keep the gloves. Oh, what if we do like cuffs? Oh, and I wanted to keep the squishiness of it. Oh, that's right. We tried this. I mean, I tried to have a poofy jacket, but I think it was just too, too many round shapes and big boots as well. Yeah, it's a little too space suity. Keep maybe the goggles. 
Ooh, what if we put this atop like Buzz Lightyear? <laughs> so spacey. Okay, I'm not sure about the belt anymore. Well, but then how do you know the difference between the top and the pants? If it's like one piece, do you like use a seam? Okay, honestly though, I don't know if I'm gonna get hate for saying this, but I kind of like this silhouette better than this one. This one, there's just something about it. Feels like I came up with it like a couple years ago or something. You know, it doesn't feel fresh and neat, but then again, this doesn't really have any special charm to it yet. So I do want to go away from the space vibe. <gasps> what if we raise the belt up higher? Kind of like cut off that section. Like if the belt's up here that'll change the silhouette i like that better it's a little less frumpy like it's got a little bit more shape to it okay i think i have some ideas to change this but i do kind of want to throw in the color and see where i might put those i kind of remember from last time yellow kind of just had to be the hair and blue i'm gonna like copy this and just put it on the whole suit there'd be like a v-shape and then it would kind of follow down like that with the red color it was like here and here. Maybe we could do the sleeves since that one didn't have sleeves. And then maybe red boots. I left that and that white, so maybe red gloves. I like this so much better. Like that's way more fun to draw for me, but it definitely could use some work. So what I want to do is see how all the shapes are kind of large and like there's no like, how do I put this? There's not like contrast in the size of shape. So I kind of want to play with that on the next one here. So we're going to do like the same pose since that seems to be easy to work with. Let's draw the body underneath. So I'm thinking, I love how there's a wide neck and then it goes down to the little head. So I think we should keep that. This is the head, that big wide, I don't know, top of the <laughs> jacket, the neck. I love this part. So let's keep that. Like how it like just, just tapers in, creates a triangle. So again, you have like, can't really see it because of the circle weight. So you have a little shape, then it gets bigger. Then it gets bigger. So the next thing, it definitely needs to get stuck because we just got bigger twice, right? So then we have like the belt. So that would kind of mean I would have to do like a Victorian sleeve almost where it like gets wider at the end. So I'm gonna kind of like follow that rule and then maybe get even smaller and create like a cuff. That's a smaller shape. It was a long shape. Now it's a short shape and it was a wide shape. And now it's a thin shape. And then we have big gloves. Contrast with that shape. Now with the pants, I don't think I really want to change anything. And then there's the boots. Oh, these boots are a little bit higher. I don't think the hair is really adding or ruining anything, so it doesn't really need to change. So maybe now that I have these shapes, I can kind of just incorporate more of that into it. So add the roundness, the marshmallow texture. This has a very 70s vibe. Let's add color to that. I don't think I'm vibing with the separate piece feeling, but I really liked the colors from that one. So I'm gonna kind of copy that for now. Actually, doesn't she look like, isn't there some superhero that my brain's saying rainbow bright? Is that a thing? <laughs> what if we add more texture to these? I'm gonna Google that superhero thing. Rainbow Bright is a thing. Do you see what, where I was coming from with my comparison? I mean, mine has a little bit of a smaller color palette, but it also has yellow hair, which is not helping. I don't even know about this. I don't even know who this character is, but I do see the like shoulders with the ring arms, <laughs> which might be solved by just coloring that in, leaving no white space. So yeah, I definitely want this to all feel like one piece. So I think it'll add to like the onesie ski suit vibe. I'll just draw one in my generic hip out pose. So I think I'll keep the V or the triangle. Then we'll keep that circle. I want to keep more rounded shapes in this. Maybe adding pockets is going to help. So maybe like sweatshirt pocket. What if they're blue sleeves? Then it'll feel like one piece, right? Just use red for like this stuff. Oh wait, but then her ski mask would change color. And I feel like that's just disrespecting the character at this point, you know? <laughs> Although I don't hate it. Still too spacey. I think it's the collar. Let me think, what's like a different winter hood? You could have like the faux fur hood. I could also disconnect it like it used to be. Oh, I was using the wrong red. It's supposed to be this red. I didn't realize how much fun I would have though, drawing like the, the pant legs being kind of like soft and squishy. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. So what I wanted to change, I feel like I had, oh, I want to change the collar. So I want head, we're working on the shoulders, so I'm gonna zoom in a little. We got the shoulders, neck, keep the ski mask with the little opening, but let's add like a faux fur hood. I'm thinking like giant Han Solo, Empire Strikes Back. 70s 
situation. Then we have small head, big hood. You can have slightly smaller shoulders this time, which kind of loses the triangle shape. So that's already different. So I want to keep the belt. I feel like you just need it to kind of break up the top and the bottom half of the onesie. And then let's see, can we fit my poof sleeves back in? Maybe just subdue them a little. I don't know, those are still really big. I feel like the goggles keep those. Oh, but where's the ponytail go if the hood is this big? I mean, it could kind of like sit inside of it. What if I just remove the poof off the top sleeve? Add like a secondary seam here. That's a little weird, isn't it? Thought I'd try it though. To be honest, my favorite one's the first one. Not this one, this one. <laughs> Do I need to like incorporate more of the faux fur like here too? Like, does it need to be everywhere? Mm. Oh, that does help. It's the shoulders I'm not sure about. Like, what do I do with those? Let's try drawing it smaller. Huge hood. We could uh, maybe go back to the vest. So being able to go size-wise to a vest is gonna be too much. I think we need to go something slimmer for that part. Okay, I'm skipping the belt, but I'm still gonna come like inwards and add like a little seam. That pulls away from the Star Wars vibe. Not Star Wars, Spaceman vibe. But the sleeves. I miss my little marshmallow. How do I include it? Do I just put it like at the end of the sleeve? Add the faux fur. Okay, I like that as it is right now. Let me see it with a little color. Kind of make this part bigger. All right, so this is where we're at so far. I don't feel like I've made any definitive decisions except that I still don't really care for this design. Let's move over to this next page, maybe. Resharpen the old pencil. We've done a lot of like ski suit onesie sort of situations. Why don't I try to break it up into two pieces? Let's see how I would go about that. So again, let's start in small. Okay, so everything shoulders up is kind of decided and so i want it to be in two pieces i want to try big square for the coat then i can maybe include those pockets i was trying to like the hoodie looking pocket then we have some snow pants here it's kind of what i was trying with that one but let's try slightly different then we can keep these really big oh actually let me shrink the shorten them a little and add the fur and then we can add the gloves I kind of like this one. Let me throw in some color. Where would I put it? Make the jacket mostly blue with a little red and then the pants mostly red with a little blue. Mm -hmm. one. What if there's a straight line here? Straight line here. So like one sleeve's that color. So one thing that's a little bit against everything that I said at this point was that I wanted to get rid of the jaggy edges and what I ended up doing was just spreading them out throughout the whole thing, which still feels better in my opinion. So maybe I'll just take it. Take it and run. I'm gonna add a little line art on this so I can take a closer look at some of the Details that kind of got blurred out with the marker. Oh, I didn't add in the yellow. You know what? What if we go with like a lighter yellow? So it's like a dusty brown. And then we could use it for like the poofs. Or do I need something lighter? Because then it's gonna blend in with the hair. It was a, it was an idea. Guys, I love this one. Like it needs a little tweaking. It's only the first go, but like, look at that and then look at those. Look at that and then look at those. What, mm, which one do you like better? I need to draw it from like a different angle to make sure like the jacket actually works. Make sure it's not just luck. All right, let's draw her one more time and then hopefully I can kind of draw a full size. I was also wondering if I should actually give her skis. This outfit makes me think she's more of a snowboarder. This one I feel like is the skier. Maybe they're related, but let me draw it from another angle. I'll try drawing it skiing <laughs> not that i've ever done that before oh snowboarding never mind we're doing snowboarding this is a kind of a, a difficult angle for this i'm also not super familiar with her design yet maybe put the goggles on and then the hair kind of like fly behind try this a little bit more opened up like snowboard that i feel like shows off the outfit a little better which is what's important right <laughs> I think would be fair mm -hmm. is if I recreate Everest in this pose, which was like my final drawing when I was putting her together. So I'm gonna grab another piece of paper like this and see how well it stands up against this one. So I just have to recreate the pose, I guess. Kind of just traced it to get the whereabouts for the uh, pose, I guess. So now we have to take this design and put it on to this body. So all of this is all kind of the same, but we're gonna add in the, gotta be able to see it, the collar. Nice big poofy, comes over the chin, it really comes over this way. And that would be like the hood kind of poking out that way. And there's the zipper on the jacket, which I feel like 
should like, I don't know, keep this a little slimmer. Now, the jacket is bigger, so it kind of changes things up. Like it should go from shoulder to shoulder. Just kind of create a hole. Where did that end? Like here. Just a big square fills that in. Might have to move the arms. Then the sleeves would be here. You wouldn't even see this one unless I like squish it in to get the gloves in there. The snow pants kind of just come straight down. Not a lot of shape to them. I feel like I might want to pull the jacket down lower, to be honest. Here it's like right, actually, yeah, maybe. <laughs> what do I say? I'm still liking it. I'm not opposed to it yet. Let's add in these boots that I really liked drawing. So they're big, so they keep contrast, create contrast between the skinny leg. And then they have like an opening in them with like a lace of some kind and then i added like a sort of waterproof layer Ooh, i like it being flat so let me do the same thing with this boot okay i need to move this lower then there's the knee pieces i like the like super straight legs they look so warm and comfy probably add like some laces now that we're drawing bigger <laughs> there's room for that that would mean we need to lower our hand a little because the pockets are lower on this so little seams no, there's gonna be that like design like that. I'm so glad I finally committed to her being like super wintry vibe and her name. I think, I don't know if I mentioned this, but like this is all kind of inspired by the name that I finally picked, right? Like this, these changes would never have been made if I didn't finally settle on a name because the name started bringing all sorts of new ideas into it. And I feel like they're really influencing the design and making it so much better. And this is so fun to draw. Okay, I really like it. Let's just keep going. Finish it up, go strong. Hopefully you don't ruin the sketch with line art or anything. I'm gonna like pull it in here because it's being squished by the arm clearly. And then you kind of see that arm back there. Ooh, okay. So I guess next stage is line art and then the color. Should I do color first? Is that dangerous? I think I'll start with the ivory color. I want to erase this a little actually. Wait, one second, just so it's a little less pink. And then we'll go over that with the Posca. Kind of add more dimension to it. I might need to find a different color for her hair. We'll see. I think this is what I used for the skin last time. Throw a little of that in. Right, I think that's the only skin that shows. So that was easy. Let's do the blue. All right, there's the visor. Uh, the jacket was blue from here down. That's like almost all the blue. There's just some down here. I think we need to redraw that stripe. It seems too high. Yeah, because this is more the straight on of it, so it's not gonna look the same. That piece would actually be lower. Like it looks weird next to that one, but because the leg's different, I think that's where it has to be. Mm hmm. Uh, we need some red. I'm gonna start with the lighter red, and then maybe use the red we've been using as I don't know shading. <laughs> what do they call it these days? I'm kind of regretting not doing the line art first. For some reason this step is really nerve wracking without it. Can I grab the closet and just move this line over a smidge? Cause the leg's kind of like turning right at the last minute there. And since the marker's dry, I can kind of do this. Tone down the yellowness of it. It also just makes it look kind of fluffier, I think. Back to red. So we add in the stripes up here, which were one right here and one above it that connects to the rest. So it kind of just fills it in. And then let's make the hood in the back blue. I don't know what it would actually look like since I haven't drawn it from behind, but I feel like it makes it more noticeable. And then the gloves are red as well. Let's make this one lace red and this lace blue. Again, just to make them kind of stand out. I also feel like it needs more blue or more red or something. Oh wait, you know, this red should come over this wing. Oh, and then the ski mask is red. Okay, now I want to take that gray color that I used for the bottom of the boot. I think I actually want to put some in the jacket. I feel like this little stripe at the bottom and then this could be like a gray color. So yeah, I want the, definitely want the bottom of this to be gray. This one actually could be darker probably. And then I want like this little piece at the bottom. I feel like it just makes it look like a jacket. I don't know what it is. I think it just helps. Okay, now we need to add some line art. I guess I'll use the 0.1 size. These are the Ohu Fine Line Drawing Pens, if you were wondering. <laughs> Read that like it was an ad, but it wasn't. Okay, there's some eyes. A little bit more wide-eyed than the last time I drew her. Don't like that. Don't like it at all. <laughs> I'm kind of wondering if I just make this like pupil a little bigger. That kind of helps. I like this one's face a little better. It's not what we're judging here. We're judging overall design. And it has nothing to do with my competence at drawing faces with a fine liner. <laughs> And there was like some seams. Oh, I had like shoulder seams. And there's this one back here. 
There's something I like a lot better about the coloring, and I think it's just the pink pencil underneath. I love when the sketch shows through. Obviously, you can have too much sketch throwing it through, showing through, and then it's like too much, you know? But I think it's kind of just enough, like right around here, that I really, really like it. That is where the thumbs would go, right? Why does it look so weird? I was like, wait, thumbs aren't on the opposite side of the hand, are they? That happens sometimes, you gotta pay attention. Ooh, I kind of wish I had put a little bit more of a divot into that because the leg is going into the fluff, whereas the fluff looks like it's like going over the leg, which I don't think is how it would look. <gasps> I like this. Okay, we need to add the hair. I didn't really come up with a new hair color. That's with the ivory blended with a lot of the pink. So let me try layering our pencil down, tracing it a little so it's not so textured. And then throwing the ivory on top of that. Yeah, and it looks separate from the fur, so that works. I just have to add in the liner. Alright, the grand reveal. Not that you couldn't see them next to each other anyway. First we have the original, the OG. Actually, we could call her No Name Girl. And now, let me introduce you to Everest. <laughs> Which one do you like better? Fashionista of the slopes or our snowboard queen? This one, I stick by what I say about it looking a lot like some kind of Fortnite character. And this one, just something about it. Like it's it's less creative, I guess I would say, but I like it a lot better. Like it feels more cohesive and like realistic. Kind of reminds me of when I redid, I'm gonna try and fix this foot. It kind of reminds me of when I redid Dex's design and I just kind of like boxed it out a little bit more and like made it a little less, I don't know what the word is, but it's like a character looks older than I want them to kind of thing. I don't know. A little highlight to the eyes. Oh, I wanted to add like some shading with the original red color. Can you tell that they're two different reds? Let's go in with the darker color and add a little shading. Let's see if we can get these to look more like snow pants. Maybe make them look shiny, like a shinier material. And just layering it a second time is doing something for it. Mm -hmm. I feel like I need to do the same thing with the blue. Posca's dried there. I could try going over that with the liner, fixing that. Hmm, does that look better? I might do another layer of Posca. Okay, so the last thing I feel like I need to do is just add shading to the white. I used gray there, but like this one has more of an ivory vibe, so I'm wondering if I should use that. But I also don't want it to be the ivory color. I think I want it to be white. So let's just go with the gray. Hey! All right, now they're the final, the two finals. Do I cut this out and like stick it in here? Ooh, or do we play around and try and write her name a couple more times? I wanna try it with red this time. Just give it a revisit. I'm kind of like nearing the end of the video, but we just wanna just try. Let's see. So if we do a capital E, do all the rest lowercase, and then we just create a little mountain. Maybe when it's going too far down is when it starts looking like a house. What if I do the lowercase E and go over top everything? Yeah, I think it needs to be pointier. I mean, if you do like one of these, then it's a mountain. I wanted to sign it with her name, but I don't have it yet. I wanna like go around this, kind of align it. This, I feel like it looks like Home Depot logo or something. Definitely not, don't like that one. <laughs> Let's do all caps, I haven't tried that. That's not too bad. I think it's cause it doesn't like cover the whole span of the word. I've written this word so many times now, I'm not sure I'm actually spelling it right. We're good. What about cursive? Oh, I forgot the S. <laughs> oh, I, I like it way better in cursive. Who'd have thunk that a signature looks better in cursive? Let me go back to the red. Okay, I went a little too jaggy. Okay, I think that's it. What if we just don't include the mountain though? What does that look like? I still did. <laughs> I can't help it. All right. So, I don't think I need to do a recap. I mean, if you were here the whole video, you kind of knew what went on. First this, then that, then this, and somewhere in between we did this. I had a lot of fun with this. I'm so glad I decided to like retackle her design, kind of bring it into something I was more excited to draw because I half made her my sketchbook mascot and I wanted her to show up a little bit more. And hopefully this helps. Who knows, maybe her design will continue to change. And maybe that's just what she does as mascot is just continuously change over time at my every whim. I don't mind if that's what happens, but yeah, Here's the new and improved Everest with her signature. Am I recapping again? Oh my god. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys all next week. Thank you so much for helping me name her. And especially thank you to these people. I should have said that at the beginning of the video. Anyway, I'll see you guys all next week. And I hope you have a delicious evening full of waffles. Bye! What well, I should do? A little 26. Okay, bye now. <laughs>